We're in Kisi, Kenya. We drove in this morning on some pretty rough and wet roads. The hospitality here in Kenya is absolutely amazing. The people come to you and greet you. Uh, one by one, they come up to you and hug you and shake your hand and sing upon your arrival. And uh, it just, they make you feel so warm and welcome and uh, make you part of, feel part of the, the body of Christ. We've had to rent a uh, generator for these meetings and we were supposed to give nine presentations originally but um, due to the weather we've only been able to give uh, about one and a half so far. But the day looks great and I think the message is going to be powerful. The PA system will be such that we'll be able to hear the singing, hear the preaching and just enjoy um, the presence of God in these meetings. Come on in and join us. Let us come together as we are one in the body of Jesus Christ. I didn't seem to fit in society. I didn't fit in the church. It didn't seem like I fit anywhere. But I wanted to so badly. You got a nice swing on that gate. <laughs> because I walked more like a girl than a guy. And I would say, why God, why? I was supposed to be born a girl, not a boy. And I left the church. We are all looking for love, aren't we? At the ripe old age of 30, I was seeing my friends die one by one. I continued to live life without boundaries. Every AIDS test that I would get. This result would always be negative. I opened my Bible that I had not opened for 35 years. And the pastor di directed us to Philippians 4.13 And it said I can do everything through him who gives me strength. I don't think that it was a coincidence. I believe God had planted that there for me. The question that comes up today is, am I still tempted? Jesus was tempted. But he lived his perfect life for us. It's because he made the decision for his father. Today, he is my father. I have not had a sexual fall of any kind. Today I walk with Jesus. It is only by knowing Jesus that we know where to take feelings that don't correspond with the word of God. You see, we are God's most precious gift. And his love for us is immeasurable. Amen. A just God does not create people to keep secrets from them. If it was right for me to have a same-sex relationship, God would, given, have, would have given me correct examples of this in his word. And Jesus' words tell us that this isn't a time that things change for today because he says that I am the same 
yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Because you see, it's not about homosexuality. It's about choosing Jesus. Whether we are tempted with diet, with women, with thievery, with murder, with hate, with pride, with gossip, any sin condition that we suffer from, He offers us hope and redemption.